Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new video card from ASUS. This is the ASUS Radeon R9 270X DirectCU2 Top. Now that product name itself is quite a mouthful, so let me help to uh, decrypt it for you. First off, ASUS is the manufacturer of this product. No surprises there. DirectCU2 is the custom cooler that they've been working on for several years now. There's been several different iterations of it, but uh, this is the most up-to-date one. So this cooler is going to run 20% cooler than the reference design R9270X and three times quieter than the reference design R9270X. So it's a great reason to go with an aftermarket card that's been custom designed, such as this one from Asus. The top in the name indic indicates this is an overclocked card. Uh, the top cards are typically some of the fastest cards that Asus releases. And this also means that uh, Asus has gone through the GPUs that they use in this card, they bin them, they test them, and they make sure that the only ones that they're putting in their top cards are ones that they ensure can run at the overclock speeds that they're shipping them at, which happens to be uh, 1,120 megahertz as opposed to the 1050 of the reference card, uh, and also make sure that you can get more overclocking headroom on top of that, uh, of course, by virtue of the uh, way that they've designed the card as well as the custom cooler. This card has two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. That's a two gig frame buffer. It's designed for 1080p gaming, although it can go below and above that, depending on what game you're playing and the settings, of course. Uh, it features DigiPlus VRM or digital power delivery, super alloy power, uh, so the componentry they've used in there is very stable and also has 2.5 times the lifespan of typical, typical uh, components, or again, as compared to the reference design. And you also get GPU tweak, uh, which there's a little diagram of here over on the right side. Uh, GPU tweak is basically real-time graphics tuning, so it's an operating system utility. You can run from within Windows. Uh, you can get uh, detailed specs for your card. You can also see a temperature readout over time, which is very handy to have. And then uh, the newest version of GPU tweak actually also includes a function for live streaming. So uh, if you're a gamer and you like to broadcast your games on uh, services such as Twitch, uh, it's got that built into GPU Tweak, which is pretty cool. Here's a little bit more information on the, the Digi Plus VRM and the Super Alloy Power. Again, 30% uh, less power, uh, power noise, I should say, 2.5 times the durability. And then a kind of closer look at that direct CU2 cooler. The direct CU is direct copper because the copper heat pipes make direct contact with the GPU at the center of the card and give it a very efficient means of transferring that heat away from the graphics card. There is one last bit of information I wanted to show you guys. It's located in very small print right here. These are rest recommended system requirements, so four gigs of system memory, a motherboard with a free PCI Express graphics slot, slot, ideally PCI Express Gen 3, but you can also use Gen 2. Uh, Windows Vista 7, 8, or 8.1, 32 or 64 bit. And then the power supply is always a big uh, important factor when you're considering a graphics card. Minimum 500 watt system power with a minimum 12 volt current rating of 24 amps. Now the 270X is uh, based on the same silicon, the GCN architecture, uh, as the 7000 series. It's been updated uh, and graduated to the next level, and uh, the 270X more specifically is kind of the successor to the 7870, which has been a very popular card in AMD's 7000 series for quite some time. So you'll notice some comparisons between the two. They're actually based on the same ASIC. But uh, for accessories in here, you have uh, the ASUS Speed Setup Guide, which is kind of a generic um, uh, video card installation. You also get your GPU tweak software as well as drivers on this disc. I would recommend going to the ASUS website for the latest version of GPU tweak and going to the AMD website for the latest uh, graphics drivers for this card. You do get a power adapter, so if your power supply is 500 watts uh, with the current rating that's listed on the box, but you don't have a PCI Express graphics connector, you can use this to uh, transfer a couple Molex plugs over to that. I think this is all that's left in here. And then you also get a Crossfire Bridge, as this card is capable of Crossfire. It is a flexible one, so it should handle uh, various two or three slot spacing on your motherboard. And now here is the R9 270X DirectCU 2 top video card itself. As you can see, uh, they're sticking with the uh, Asus red and black theme design. So particularly if you're going with possibly an ROG series motherboard from Asus, this is going to match quite nicely. Uh, the shroud itself appears to be, uh, yes, this is plastic, although it is fairly sturdy plastic and quite thick. Uh, you got black with some red highlights. Uh, and then in the center, you have two 75 millimeter fans. Those are downward firing, so they're gonna be pushing air down towards the aluminum fin stack, such you can see 
beneath there, which there are also quite a few of. Then you'll also see the heat pipes up here, uh, which kind of move outside the shroud and then they go back into the shroud and uh, help disperse the heat into those uh, uh, fin arrays. Now, another thing is if you look at, from, at it from this side, which is probably the view that you're going to be seeing if you have it installed in your case, you'll be able to see the ASUS and DirectCU2 logos. You also see these heat pipes right here. And I know this is an aesthetic thing, but I, I like the way these heat pipes look. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a thing that we've seen with several of the ASUS DirectCU2 cards. It kind of reminds me of like a motorcycle, perhaps, something like that, but uh, pretty cool looking nonetheless. Uh, over here you have your power uh, requirements or the power connectors for PCI Express graphics power from your power supply, two six pin uh, power connectors, and then ASUS is continuing uh, putting the little, little LEDs right on top of that. They will turn red if the power is not connected to that, and they'll be green if the power is connected to that. It's, at the very least, it's a very handy way of remembering, oh yeah, I forgot to plug in my PCI Express graphics connectors. Uh, apart from that, the PCB is uh, custom designed from ASUS. It has a very a flat black uh, color, which uh, should blend in very nicely with uh, any uh, computer system that you might happen to be building. GPU itself is located right here beneath this cluster of transistors. Uh, again, that's the R9 270X GPU. Uh, it has 1,280 stream processors. Uh, and again, it's running at the overclock frequency of 1,120 megahertz. Uh, you also have memory on this card, which you might have a bit harder time seeing, but it's tucked away in there. You can kind of see a little bit of it down there. The memory on this card, you get two gigs of it. Uh, it's running at 5,600 megahertz. So if you compare that to the 7870, that memory was running at 4,800 megahertz. So that's one of the other upgrades you get if you're comparing this to the last generation of cards. Uh, down here at this end, you can see the other end of the card. Bear in mind this is, uh, shroud is an open design, so it's going to be kicking that uh, warm air into your computer case, so make sure you have a fair amount of uh, airflow going through the case just to make sure that that uh, heat is uh, pushed out. Uh, i got a couple more heat pipes coming out this direction from that side. These are all 8mm uh, heat pipes, by the way. And then if I flip around to this side, actually I wanted to show uh, this little bracket right here. So. Uh, Video cards can be heavy, given the uh, density of the fins and everything, so Asus is continuing their theme of uh, putting a little extra a little extra support for it. So you got this uh, bracket right here. It attaches to the PCI slot at the same point where you're going to be bolting that in, so plenty of support right there. And it's just extending along the length of the card a little bit to provide some extra support to the PCB, so nice to have that as well. The PCI Express Gen 3 connector is down here at the bottom, and um, in case you haven't noticed, the connectors do come with little protective covers on them to keep those gold contacts nice and pristine. PCI Express Gen 3, once again, is a compatibility that you have. Uh, don't worry, though, you can plug it into a PCI Express Gen 2 motherboard or a 2 or 2.1, and you will not suffer much performance degradation, only in the arena of maybe one or two percentage points. You do have Crossfire capability right up here. So a single card or two-way crossfire configuration is what's supported. So there's your little finger at the top where you would connect that included crossfire bridge. And then here on this side, we have our video outs. So let me just pop off a couple more of these caps. Uh, you have DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 1.4, and then a couple dual-link DVI connection points. Bear in mind that the lower one here is DVI-I. That includes both the digital and analog connectors. The analogs are the ones on the right side there. Uh, so there is where you would connect the DVI to VGA adapter if you're going to be using them for an older monitor. Uh, but both of these will support uh, high resolutions up to 2560 by 1600. Uh, and then the top one is digital only, so no DVI to v VGA adapters there. Then you also have a little bit of ventilation here at the back of the card to push some warm air out of the case. And in closing, just a couple more specs that I neglected to mention. One was brought up by Rachel, who's working the camera right now. That is the memory interface. You get two gigs, 5600 megahertz, and a 256-bit memory interface, which is very nice to have. Uh, and then also the super alloy power uh, is actually an eight-phase power delivery system, six for the GPU and two for the memory. So um, you should be all set with that. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the Asus R9 270X by AMD. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more just like it on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out all of our other channels if you like uh, other content, such as Lifestyle, Lifestyle and Newegg Arcade. Don't forget to hit the like button or maybe the dislike button if you didn't like that I'm rambling too long at the end of this video. Uh, leave me a comment. We'll see you next time.